Um, our client was Boy Scouts of America, the um, California Inland Empire Council. I'm Erica Sparazzo. I'm Tyler Lawrence. I'm Naira Sparrow, and the Nautical Hottest um, is not here at the moment, but if she's doing okay. <laughs> okay, so the Boy Scouts of America began in 1910, um, and their goal was to just instill great characteristics and qualities in young boys and young men, um, such as bravery, loyalty, kindness, and so on. Um, there's 70 communities that the council serves with San Bernardino and Riverside counties with, within those counties. Um, yearly, they've been doing a campaign called the Scouting for Food campaign, and that was our focus for this semester and this project. Um, so our, our goal was to exceed last year's and to continue to improve as the years go on. Okay, um, some of the strengths of Boy Scouts of America is that they have 20, 20,000 youth, um, and they have a thousand scouting units, and they're just spread all among. They're very well known. Um, also, is a also the Scouting for Food campaign is a it's non-controversial, appealing to all different ages and groups and um, different demographics. Um, one of the weaknesses that they have is that there is a lack of awareness just among the Hispanic communities and specifically. Um, their mission is is not known there and, and they, they don't really cling to that as much as maybe the white population or other races and ethnicities. Um, the economy has also taken a hit to people either becoming a part of the Boy Scouts or wanting to donate canned foods based on uh, different families having unemployed parents or not having as many funds as they would like to be able to contribute. Um, some of the opportunities that are, that are there is the upcoming holiday season which gets everybody in the giving spirit, kind of gets people to want to serve outwardly and not think so inwardly at times. So that was something that's going for us, as well as um, we have an opportunity to grow our awareness within the Hispanic community and become more well-known and, and have maybe more Hispanic families and young boys join the Boy Scouts. Um, and then lastly, our threat is that other organizations may compete for these food donations. All types of nonprofits are looking to collect or to get people to donate in some way. So, due to the lack of resources that we talked about and our weakness based on the economy, it kind of is a push and pull based on which organization the families will choose to donate to. Um, yeah. uh, okay. Situation analysis and core problems. Uh, the core problem for this specific campaign that we worked on, the Scouting for Food campaign, is that, as I stated before, the economy has a negative effect, as well as um, there's no there's no pre-existing public relations um, person or team or even tools, like a toolkit or media toolkit or anything like that. So us coming in there, there really wasn't much groundwork that was laid, um, as well as there was a media list that was out of date. So those contacts that they may have compiled a while back were necessary were not necessarily as helpful as they would like. Um, but we did have an opportunity to, again, raise awareness um, across the board with all different demographics, as well as to collect food from all different ages and families and, and demographics as well. Um, just as, as much as you do any type of promotion for any kind of nonprofit, that also increases the awareness for the organization themselves, not just the campaign. So scout participation, for those who are already in the program, as well as those who may want to become a scout. It also raises the awareness there, um, as well as opportunity to get their media outlets and their media list enhanced, which is where we came alongside them. Um, so the key publics and messages. Um, the publics are core, audi core audiences is the state and the CSOA troops, parents, and members of the community, so um, other people that live within the Inland Empire. Religious partners, just because usually um, religious partners usually follow um, organizations like that. And then um, people who've also participated in the Inland Empire 10 district. Um, other potential publics are the untapped Hispanic community. As Erica had said, um, the Inland Empire actually has a um, vast, or the vast majority is um, Hispanic, um, probably more than any other race. So we wanted to really um, get their attention with this campaign. Um, and then other audiences include corporate sponsors, um, and then um, other um, supported and partnered via uh, BSOA in the past, or CSA in the past. Um, potential new partners are local major supermarkets, um, 
including for all Hispanic markets, which we will also um, be talking about in the strategy practices tools in a little bit. Um, key messages and themes. Um, scout slogan, do a good turn daily. Find out what's done for food today um, and do a good turn. So that's what we like to emphasize that. Um, we want to help collect who's less fortunate. Um, this is something that they do every year and they do a good job at it. So we just wanted to contribute to that again this year. Um, to create an effective program for boys designed to build desirable qualities of character, citizenship, um, just to be good citizens and um, contribute to their communities and um, be prepared. Goals and objectives. Um, so our main goals, of course, for the Scouting for Food is um, to, their main goal is to receive 100,000 pounds of food, canned goods. Um, so a year prior, they had raised wanted to up the ante a little bit and raise a little bit more. Um, they also wanted a lot of event coverage. They wanted the media to be present and they wanted as much um, photographs to be taken. They wanted um, coverage on, you know, during the, the, um, the event and then after, of course. And then they wanted a updated media list just because, like Eric had said, it's very updated and probably a lot of those contacts are no longer there anymore. Um, our objectives were to facilitate, uh, facilitate the food drive at the um, Second Harvest Food Bank and to create a pre-press um, release and post-press release that was effective and that got the attention of the media and then um, have the media list compiled for them. And then for the strategy, tactics, and tools, um, when we had talked to, to um, Tina with Boy Scouts of America, she had said that she wanted us to really focus on scouting for food event, um, and especially the kickoff event, which is um, the very first uh, pickup that the Boy Scouts would do for the campaign. So she wanted to, us to garner publicity for the scouting for food kickoff event, and um, of course the best way to do this is to send out media alerts, um, pre-press releases, and post-press releases. Um, we also want to create a, um, an updated media list so um, we at first did research and um, looked into that online, and then um, we actually got a comprehensive media list off of the Gale Directory of Publications and Broadcast Media 2011. So that's actually in our library, which is pretty useful. And um, we wanted to communicate with local Mount Rubidoux grocery stores and ask for their participation in the event. We thought that they would not only contribute a large donation to, um, towards the goal for the Boy Scouts, but also that the media would appreciate you know, a large corporation doing something for the community. Um, we contacted not only Allison's and regular um, chains of grocery stores, we also um, contacted Hispanic based grocery stores. <coughs> Campaign outcomes. Um, like we discussed, Klein wanted to get 100,000 pounds of canned food, um, and we had a kickoff event that was took place on November 5th. Um, the, the, one of the nice outcomes that we had was <clears throat> we actually were able to get a hold of the uh, Mayor Ronald Loveridge, who's the mayor of the Inland in Empire, and he actually made an appearance at the kickoff event on November 5th, <clears throat> and he donated a can of food on behalf of the city of, in, or the city of Riverside Inland in, in, in Empire. Um, we published, uh, we, po we sent out press releases to um, a plethora of media outlets and the press enterprise picked up our press release, they posted it on their website and they actually put it on the front page of their local section. Um, and with the timing that we provided with the Boy Scouts of America and the California Inland Empire, uh, Inland Empire Council, it came out right, or I think it um, two days on no, November 3rd it was published, so it came out perfectly in time as we had planned, as per our calendar, um, and that was something that the Boy Scouts of America were extremely, extremely happy about. Measurements, assessment, and evaluation. Um, the Scouting for, for Food event goal, 100,000 uh, pounds, we actually weren't able to achieve goal and we fell a little bit short, we hit 70,000 uh, pounds. Um, in relaying that message to us from the Boy Scouts of America, they implied or they told us that 
a lot of it had to do with multiple moving parts and that the public relations campaign definitely helped, um, even though it doesn't reflect it in the numbers. Uh, with the, the media list, the media list that we were provided was extremely out of date. Uh, we had to do a lot of phone calls, um, spent hours on the phone with various media outlets ensuring that we did have the correct information to provide for the Boy Scouts of, uh, uh, Boy Scouts of America, California, and the Empire Council. And in doing so, <clears throat> we were able to compile a media list that generates about 1.3 million readers if utilized correctly. Um, and this is huge for the Boy Scouts of America, California, and the Empire uh, Council for the specific reason that their district spans from Santa Bernardino to, um, to uh, Riverside, mm -hmm. which is a very, very large area. Um, and um, as I discussed before, the press release uh, was picked up by Press Enterprise, newspaper, front page, local news, um, and they still email us about it, about how excited they are. Um, 